One of our original objectives was to broaden the range of voices on Toronto television, and by that we meant not only different style and content and programs, but also expanding the number of real people who actually get on air. The most famous example of this is Speaker's Corner, our special interactive video game. Will you marry me? Oh, my God! Hello. A while back, we came by to tell everyone that we were going to have a baby. Well, we're back because we're on our way to the hospital now. So all those who know us, you may want to give us a call. So last week, we went to the hospital uh, to uh, have a baby, and I guess that's it. And here, look what popped out. I think abortion's wrong. I think abortion's wrong, too. Not because I can understand a 15-year-old girl, okay? Like, she's 15 years old, she got pregnant, but the thing is, it was her fault. A guy I know was on a couple weeks ago, and he said that abortion is wrong. Wrong. I think no man has any right to tell a girl if she can have an abortion or not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm the, uh, the young Christ the carpenter. I'm the crucified Christ. And I'm Christ the Vegas years. The man who thinks he's Jesus lives next door to me. Hello, my name is Richard Dunn. I'm from Thames Television in London. This is uh, Mike Phillips. You probably can't see him because he's scooched down a little bit. And uh, we're here um, and we've been seeing City TV today, news, movies and music. We're here to steal ideas, T-shirts and anything else we can get our hands on. We're from CBS in New York and Los Angeles, and we have... Uh, we're the suits. We're the suits. We have seen the future We of... thought we were very hip until we came here. Right? We've seen uh, the future of television, and we're totally unnerved. From the breakthrough station at Queen and John, this is City TV everywhere. John, we need a camera for Ann. Ray has a press for 15 minutes. 21 debate. Governments keep throwing money in there, but the rest of us keep throwing everything else. Why the ones all set to go? Expelled for life. OK, let's take this one and put it right after the student's clip. Okay, so you shoot Todd, then yeah. Todd shoots you. Wait a minute. You're not going to touch me. Don't you touch Don't me. You. OK, I've got my tape, Jeff. Will you let them know I'm going straight into editing? Four, three. Y'all ready for this? TV probes the unusual. 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, you're going to have your television hanging on your wall. And it's going to be two inches thick, an inch thick. My PhD work is in human-computer interaction. People are having sexual encounters in cyberspace. Open your eyeball. Power to the people. The media is affirmative, OK? It's an affirmative energy. But, but again, I think my tastes are those actually of the mass audience. The TV allows you to judge character. TV shows the truth. Reading inspires me to write songs. I tried to read poetry, but I couldn't get into it. It's a great way of understanding people. The big thing in Iceland has always been literature. People could have been dead for centuries, and you were hearing their words exactly as they occurred in their own head. I read the newspapers. I read comics. Rock and roll and reading, a new music special, Saturday at 7.30, Sunday at 5 on City. get to know the originals 9 30 saturday 10 40 sunday this week's portrait features author john irving you know all those festival parties you weren't invited to watch mt this weekend for your all-access pass to the hottest party of the year it's a celebration of canadian films and the people who make them the movie television, your free ticket to the event everyone's talking about. 8 Saturday, 11.30 Sunday on your movie station, City TV. Everybody looks forward to this show, it's the best. I do, I look at you! It's very nice. <laughs> ugly! Well, ugly! ugly. Good job! Good deal, it's only Johnny Versace. Fall in love. 
The station was somewhat crude and wildly underfinanced, but people liked its informality and cheekiness, its downtown tempo and polyglot, multiracial, multicultural character. 